a final uh, live um, commentary from Aventoyo und Alrad. I say final because there's a very good reason for it being the final one because the thing is ending right now. Uh, so this, however, is your chance to ask anything about van life. Uh, whether or not you'll get an answer is something uh, different. Right, I'm going to turn the um, camera around so you don't have to look at me. And uh, how's that? Yeah, sorry, I'm just going to have to do this as well so you, the gimbal doesn't get in the way. There, so it gives you an idea. Right, you see people are now going home, although this is probably a good idea to film now because you can see vehicles actually moving instead of just standing around uh, not doing anything. And here's a, a company with a really good slogan, I'm not lost, I am exploring. And so, good, let's uh, now we'll start to have a walk around and uh, now the internet might suddenly stop which wouldn't surprise me in the circumstances as i've got the internet from the organizers so if they suddenly pull the plug it's over would make a lot of uh sense. so uh, uh we might be able to get into one or two vehicles who knows or we may uh it depends on the circumstances right so uh there was a request to see these um Toyota um, vehicles and see you and uh, uh, but I thought I've, I have actually I have actually filmed them so we'll uh, we'll move on a bit uh, now down here it's largely equipment hello thank you thanks Clive yeah it's been you know it's been a great uh, uh, it's been a great event um, unfortunately three days not should have been four but on uh, Thursday was a gale up here and they closed it for safety reasons and I think it's absolutely the right decision uh, because I heard of people who were here and you know there were stands sort of things were blown down and uh, uh, they set up the tents and things which had fallen down and uh, so it was it was the right decision to do in in the circumstances uh, I, I came here on Monday absolutely not necessarily not necessary as it happened but uh, anyway we've got here this vehicle uh, which I, I like first of all I like the color I like these things here and um, um, these extension lugs here so that you can sleep the bed can go in a widthwise direction uh, and um, so I was talking to someone today said look I'll eat for my own van because I'm a bit frightened of putting something like that in my, in my Mercedes if I ever get around to doing it and uh, so he said it's not as difficult as you might think so I'm gonna give that a go <laughs> right, right uh, so um right so I'll show you one or two things well oh this is a from the uh, uh, German army, I think. A vehicle, I think. Ex army, maybe. And uh, so they do travel lighting. Here, I'll show you this one here. This is uh, the Phantom, uh, Ghost Phantom, six meter uh, um, Mercedes Sprinter. And it's also got these lugs I was just talking about. You see how this comes out like this, sweeps out, and gives you this extra space on here i mean if mercedes actually built it with the wall going straight up that wouldn't be necessary but they don't so and uh also another nice feature about this vehicle which i really like is this down here you see it's got a something i'm always on about it's got a thing for the gas you see uh, yeah good looking mercedes yeah, absolutely so it's got a thing there for the gas and that is something i ultra appreciated uh, them side eggs are expensive for what they are. Oh, well, let's uh, find that one out, Clive, because uh, I don't know. Um, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll let you know how much it ends up costing me. Uh, I mean, if it costs me a fortune, then I won't be, I mean, I won't be doing it, because I'm, I'm more frightened of actually damaging the side of the van than anything else. Uh, anyway, good. So let's, uh, let's go up <laughs> here a bit. Let me see here, this uh, Spartacus. And Spartacus has got his uh, tent down, and but that was a vehicle with a tent in the roof. So you can see when you've got these tent in the roof thing, and that's not a tent in the roof; it's a pop top. Uh, pop, uh, what's it called? Um, pop camp. Name for it now. 
whatever anyway so that you saw the ones the toyota's down there uh, that went past so the things come down like that which means you can get into things like uh, containers or or what have you or you can you probably park it in the underground car park and things like pop tops yeah it's not quite a pop top though josh a pop top is for the um it's like the vw con uh, with the tent uh anyway something there's whatever the term is anyway and uh so when it's down like this i mean some of them you can actually still sit in them i mean you suppose you could sit in that uh, just about uh, it would be a bit cramped it's not like sitting under the bed in uh, you know in a in a motorhome you see when the, when you've got the beds and the uh, semi-integrated and the, the bed comes down and you can't really sit under it uh, which I've tried to demonstrate in some videos in the past anyway so right let's 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 move on a little bit and see what else is uh, see how people are packing up so we won't, won't be seeing anything exciting like um, uh, any more vans going down the the obstacle course they've got here but we do see them moving so you've got these things moving out and oh I'll show you what this happens at every single trade fair you always get as soon as it ends there's a stack of people waiting in the queue if you want my advice there's a person with like nearly 30 years business experience is that if you do a trade fair you just let everybody clear off and then you come and clear, get your own stuff oh no that one, hey, doesn't that look nice i didn't even see that one oh no this is this, this, this is the moment when you see everything you missed Oh, and there was a company down here. I was supposed to be filming them. I've just just remembered. Anyway, I forgot. I filmed them in 2018. Right. So, um, uh, good. Uh, I don't think I came down here. So we'll nip into into this tent here, on the off chance that there's still some vehicles in it. And uh, for me, it's um, you know when I did. Um, uh, trade fairs if I was in you know, businesses I had and also was work for someone else the the problem always was the it's not about setting up that because setting up the stand was always exciting because you don't know how many sales you're gonna get and this type of thing it's taking it down at the end when you realize how the exciting bit of going away is now over and I didn't like to didn't like takedown at all and it's usually takedown when things sort of get smashed but uh, my advice, as I said then, extendable roof. Yeah, extendable roof here, yeah, something like that. And uh, that, the, 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 the takedown, oh, there you see wave camp, I've done this one in the past many times. See that they've had the good sense not to just to, just to clear off and leave the vehicles here. <laughs> and, uh, oh, here's a rather large, large caravan. Yeah, single one, yeah. That's about the oh no, it's an even bigger one there, the Raptor. That really is large. Hey, we'll come round here and so have a look at this one. Yep, it's not really a mini can caravan anymore. It's sort of a maxi caravan. And anyway, so this was the company I was going to actually film these one, these here, but I, I didn't actually, I didn't actually do it. So I think it's probably a bit too late now so uh what they have which i wanted to show oh, this thing here uh, we'll just see it from the outside this i called it a mercedes jeep uh, last time where people said no a jeep's a name of a brand well it's not it actually it's like saying a, a vacuum cleaner is a hoover a hoover's the name of a brand but it's also the name of the thing anyway uh so it's the g-class and the mercedes and it's got a roof that goes up and down which gives you more space inside so that's ics from uh, Schleswig-Holstein in, uh, in, in Germany. Uh, I do that and I did want to show a bit more and there's, there's another one of these off-road uh, Mercedes Jeeps, uh, the G-Class uh, as well, which, uh, I mean, the color scheme also looks quite good. Now, um, during this event here, um, this was used by Land Rover as their test, sort of the test track. But uh, now, uh, when I was here the first time, I thought they'd let me drive down it. 
but uh, no such luck. They had a they had a driver in there. Somebody somebody with a driving license actually takes you around, and you you get you get a go. But uh, it, I was quite impressed though with the way the uh, uh, they they handle it. Uh, uh, Clive, I presume you mean the ICS ones. Uh, the ICS, the, the, the something like that. You're looking. Oh, I don't know, 150. I think 150,000. I'd imagine. Yeah, it's hard hard to say. I mean, I just I don't I don't know. But uh, you know, the 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 something like this. What's expensive? Of course. I mean, that roof going up and down. Uh, that's you know the mechanism for something like that. That's really expensive. Then it, it depends on the the four by four kit because there's all sorts of various types. It's not just um, so I use the words 4x4 and AW all-wheel drive sort of interchangeably um, but there is a difference and um, about, about how, how, how they work and, so, and there's various types of uh, so, so I just I, I can't I can't say so uh, yeah it's no it's it's not yeah it's not a, it's not a cheap thing not a cheap option uh, so I can't I can't afford a, uh, a VW camper, so I think I'll get one of these off-road ones. And uh, hello, video, hello, hello. And uh, good. It, but look how nice it is now. And you see it, see it like this, and they've got the, the sun shining, and uh, got these wonderful colours. And it is absolutely, absolutely marvellous. See, look at that. Isn't that nice? And uh, you know, I had to walk here this morning. Uh, because the bus has started half an hour after the uh, the, the, the event starts, so I, to make sure I got in to do some filming, I um, I, uh, I walked here, and it was wonderful walking through the countryside to to actually get to get in. All right, so there's a Euro Cargo and Iveco, and uh, oh. This one here is at monocoque. Oh, knocking our bite. So it's still being built. And it is a, ah, see, so there, that is a, a monocoque vehicle. Uh, so that'll be, that'll be pretty expensive. And, uh, right, got a Concorde there. Now Concorde uh, isn't four by four, but it's still pretty nice inside. Um, Ah, now see this thing here by this uh, Klaus Hunerkopf. He's, he built this this vehicle here. Now this was a Dusseldorf, uh, so it's a bit like one of these Pope mobile things. So you've, it's like the front bit's normal, but the rear is what's clever here. It's like a la a huge lounge inside. So you know, if you, you get elected Pope, you might want to order one of these things and you can stand there and wave to people. Uh, through it. So, uh, so this when people are tidying up to go home, this is what it looks like. So it's easy for me. I don't have to tidy anything up. I just uh, come along, film things, and clear off. All I've got to do is put my camera away. And, oh, there was these requests to show the Heimer crossover. Well, there's one. Uh, it, it belongs to somebody here. And, uh, you need, yeah, an electric scooter. Um, I, I don't really like electric scooters, actually. I mean, a bicycle, yeah, but an electric scooter, well, I'm not so keen on them. Um, anyway, there you go. There's the Heimer crossover. Grand Canyon S, so it's on the Mercedes, and it's belongs to somebody so I can't really show it to you <laughs> uh, inside and great okay so uh, for those I want to see I think I've, I think I've videoed one of them recently which I haven't actually published yet though I think I think and uh, right we'll come around she's got lots of really great equipment here as well and uh, one thing I mean, there's lots of stuff that I don't really understand with the suspension systems for the 4x4. And, but uh, this is company a Tiger, and they've got, um, it's for heating systems, uh, really very interesting. Oh, it's a Russian, look at that, it's come from Russia. And we'll have a, we'll have a look if this, the, the, the Russian, oh. And, oh, I hope that's okay. I hope this thing's okay. But this here is, Buhanka there, sort of, uh, it's new, it says on one of them, it's a new vehicle. And uh, 
the thing about this made in Russia stuff is, is that obviously it's, it's, it's much cheaper, but the, the, it's not, not, it's not much as far as the luxury is, is, is concerned. But it might just work on, um, uh, on the, on the off-road. And uh, so that's, I think, is what the hope is. But I'll show you this little, uh, on, I saw one of these in town as well, but this, this logo on the side. Uh, there you go, which is quite amusing. So no, it's not uh, um, a classic car. No, I haven't been. No, it's not restored. Yes, it's new. And uh, if you want to test drive, then you ring this uh, uh, number. Good. So I'll uh, walk out this way, having shown that. And uh, so this Russian one's getting. Uh, uh, oh, it's. This is, that's coming off. And so I try to actually show you around in some of these videos which I've done and to, to sort of give you a bit of a, an overall taste of, of it. Oh, thanks, thanks video. And uh, uh, it gives a bit of the, you know, the, the feeling of the, uh, what's going on. Uh, at events of this nature. Oh, there's another maiden uh, gas. That company was actually a client of mine once. This this Jäger here, I don't know it. I never heard. Jäger means hunter in uh, in German. Oh, so it must be a Russian one. Oh, well, that's cute, isn't it? Well, I didn't see that. So all this stuff I failed to see whilst uh, whilst I was here. And uh, right, so Autarka, they do stuff for people like me who sort of uh, lives uh, uh, off the grid. And uh, hi. hi. <laughs> oh, and here's a Ural. Um, l lorry, I remember uh, these things from the so so Soviet Army. So, so I think, I don't know how old this one is, of course, but I mean, these things like this, oh, it goes back a very long time. This one's got an East German logo on it. And, and right, so I think I've largely, in this, I've done a, done a circle here down there so what I think I'll do now is I'll bring this tour to a close and for today and so uh, I might I might I might just do a sudden live from from my tour uh, as I go back uh, home just pick a place and then um, do 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 a live thing show you where I'm being the uh, thing now for me though when it gets starts to get cold it's not so much fun being out and uh, i like you know it's great when you're in the camper van and it's hot uh, it's warm but when it starts the weather starts changing and you know so you go out you do things i mean it's great to, this is a great time of the year to go hiking for example uh, it's wonderful but it's probably the best time of the year to go camping but then uh you know, I want to come back and oh it's just oh no it's just too it's just really too too cold also I mean I've been in the van now for a very long time and there's there's work it needs doing on it and uh, where am I what was your business then sorry uh, uh, where am I um, I'm in Bagsingen in, in northern Bavaria what businesses were was I in well last time I did a trade fair I was director of a company a marketing director of a company which uh, made uh, juices, uh, blueberry juice, and uh, but before that, had a company which uh, uh, um, had a manufacturing company. So, oh, but that was years and years ago. So, <laughs> and uh, uh, and the, I mean, with the juices, what was good is that because you would do food fairs, 
and uh, then, then at the end of the fair, people weren't going to be taking stuff back you know, to e Egypt or Israel or Iran or something like that. And so, so you've got all this food you, you can help yourself to it at the end of the event. And I was just sort of bartering our, our stuff, our, our, our juices up for whatever they had. But yeah, it was good. remember because we were in this hall and we had the, you know, I mentioned Israel, Egypt and Iran, all the, they were in the same hall as we were. Japan was there as well. So, oh, the best, the best food is in the same place as what we were. Great for uh, getting, uh, you know, food from them, which they clearly weren't going to take back with them. Oh, I want to show you this one here. Look at this one here. This is a light, light uh, light uh, construction uh, company in Berlin. I filmed one of theirs, uh, I want to see it in 2018, uh, M an MAN. Uh, but anyway, I said to them, I said, they're in Berlin, I said, I'll be in Berlin in March and I'll come and see about it. Look at that, it's wonderful color as well. It's totally uh, different from every other off-road vehicle you're likely to see. Well, no, there isn't one, it was, I did, there's the one here today, Unimog, which was a, sim a similar co color. But uh, yeah, it looks. I think it looks great. I mean, I really like the look of it. But anyway, I've, I've shown it to you now. Come on, say bye. Bye. And anyway, so I filmed these ones as well. So uh, that's that's been done. And you see, this is the reason why you don't want to leave the same time as everybody else because what you've got is this long queue, and uh, I suspect that this queue is going to be some time in going so well good uh, I think oh there's another interesting vehicle as well <laughs> and yeah Okay, right. Well, I'm sort of going to go back to where I started. I think I started this video somewhere around here. And uh, I, as I did earlier, the VWs. And uh, that's cute, cute to get out here as well. Might be difficult for me to get out. Good, so I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to stop here. I'm going to leave this one. For the, the last view of Abentoy and Alarad I'm going to leave on this uh, live stream is this vehicle right, right there. Thanks to all of you who watched and sent questions. And uh, there's a video this evening at the usual time. Can't remember what it is, but it's a, uh, it's a three minute video. I can't remember who it is. But uh, we'll be back to sort of normal length videos in the evening as from tomorrow. So thanks to everybody who was here. And this is me in Germany uh, signing out now on the way. Um, the next stop, as far as I'm concerned, uh, planned is Gerlitz in eastern Germany. Thanks. Bye.